Ladies and gentlemen, good evening, good afternoon. It is time for another game day vlog. Now, this is one of the most interesting game day vlogs I've ever done. I'm going to New Zealand to play Australian rules football. It is a Wednesday night, so it's early in the week. I'm gonna keep this very short and sweet. Uh, about to shoot off to bed, and then in the morning, I do have a flight off to Christchurch. This is the uh, this is the crib at the moment. It's looking um, extra elite. We're about to start doing some packing. We've got all of our prime train samples, plenty of more colors to come through. This is actually another sample as well. Plenty more colors to come through of the Prime and Wine stuff over summer and over the winter period next year. Stay tuned. For now, I'm gonna pack, get some sleep, and then it's time to get onto my plane to go to New Zealand. Let's get it. Good morning, everybody. Uh, we've packed everything, we're sorted, ready to go. Um, we're in an Uber currently, and the Uber has stopped for some fuel. I don't, I don't know if I really like that because I think it's costing me more money. But anyway, we are um, on our way to the airport, which is going to be elite, uh, and then we're on our way to Christchurch. Let's get it. So we got to the airport nice and early, as we usually do. But my passport, it's a little, it's a little bit old and raggedy. It has gone through a few um, Ibiza nightclubs, and it does look like it probably needs to be newer. Um, so they're like calling up immigration services to make sure that my passport isn't fake. And I haven't doctored it, but yeah, we'll see how we go. So we're just waiting at the moment. This could be a very early end uh, to the Christchurch vlog, but we fingers crossed. We have our fingers crossed that it isn't. Um, and that we could, can get to Christchurch, but they said that New Zealand are very, very strict, so fingers crossed. All right, <clears throat> not a good start to the morning. They've just said I can't get into New Zealand because my passport's too damaged. <laughs> oh my God. I got all around Europe with it, so it hasn't been an issue before, so I didn't think it would be an issue, but um, obviously is. Probably need to go, start off my day with a coffee. Oh, and then I need to go to the Australian passport office to get a new passport because I'm still going to try and get to Christchurch, but at the moment it looks very bleak and unlikely. <clears throat> but yeah, I guess um, probably grab a coffee, get an armor cross on so I don't feel so depressed. Oh, and go to the Australian passport office. And then we've been rebooked on the same flight tomorrow, is what she said, uh, which is awesome, which is great. Thank you, Qantas. Fingers crossed we can get a new passport before then the coffee back on our way home we've got to go and get passport forms new photos print off passport forms fill them out go to the passport office and try and get a new passport hopefully today we'll see what we can do but this has been a this is a dilemma what a start to the vlog trip to the post office and they're all sorted hopefully we can get it sorted for tonight fingers crossed boy record people nice post office I've got my renewal application here and I've got to go through it and fill it out and then hopefully get to the Australian passport office APO and get it all sorted sorry I'm talking really quick but this is a very 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 stressful morning fingers crossed we can get it sorted all right we just pulled up in Collins Square Australian passport office we've got everything sorted let's go in and hopefully get this passport sorted come on holy crap what a stressful morning man that just cost me $562 to get a new passport and to try and get it on the same day. It sounds like it's 50-50. It should be able to hopefully have it done by 5 p.m. the Savo. So I've got to come back here a bit later this afternoon. Fingers crossed the passport is done, but um, what a stressful morning, what a stressful time. But I am 100% locked in. I want to go to Christchurch uh, more than anything else. I want to go check it out. I've already booked all my hotel and accommodation, all that type of stuff, so I've got to go. Also, it's about 11 a.m. and I just went and bought some crispy chicken because I need to start my morning off. It was that or Macca's because I need to start my morning off with something that would make me feel good. And then I'll go hit the gym. But yeah, wow, what a crazy start to the morning. There you go. Let's uh, dig into this crispy chick. This is the most frustrating day in my entire freaking career. I've just got an email. It's 12.30 now. I've got an email that says, request for no new photo. Apparently, the photo wasn't good enough that I got from the post office. So I have to go again to the post office, get a new photo, and then go back to the Australian post office. 
Um, passport. I don't think I'm gonna get it today, guys. I literally don't think I'm gonna be able to get it. This is so frustrating. It said the photo. Surely the guy could have told me before. All right. Apparently the last photos weren't good enough, so we've gone off and we've picked up some new photos, got some new photos done. This has been the most hectic day slash morning. It's now one o'clock ever, and I still don't have a passport, and I'm not confident that I'm gonna get a passport. Guys, we are back for take two, trying to get the passport sorted with new photos. Second application now done. Second photos done. What a hectic day so far. It's about two o'clock now. That took so long. Um, they're gonna try and get it out if they can. If not, then it's all good. They said to hang around the city for a bit. It does take me like 40 minutes to get in and out of the city. I've got 5% left on my phone. I might find a gym around here or something I can go gym at. Um, I don't really have any gym clothes, but I might find some food as well. Food and gym will be the go. And I'm lucky that we're in a massive freaking place where I can pretty much just get food anywhere. So we'll see what we want. All right, we're just gonna chill out in the city for a couple of hours. We've got a couple of orders to go through and to get sorted. I thought I'd cop some lunch as well. So we've gone with some honey chicken, um, which looks absolutely delicious with some fried rice. That's gonna be lunch for today. I've been in a deficit pretty much for eight weeks. So it's good to finally eat some uh, food. It's probably one of the first times I've really come out. Um, and eaten. I've got no food at home, so I can't even go home and eat food because I ate it all last night. So this is what we're going to be having for lunch. It looks absolutely delicious. This is so good. Mm. Oh my god. Good. We had to go around two. Now it's time for some pesto and gnocchi for dessert. We're still waiting at four o'clock. I've just been eating, eating the house down down here, just smashing calories. <laughs> All right, the Australian passport office closes in 10 minutes. So this is our last chance. We're gonna go in and see if it's open, see if we can get our passport. Moment of truth. Let's go. We got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it sorted. Holy crap. What a process. We have it secured. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at the last second. It's four o'clock and the passport place is about to close and we have at the last Let's second go. secured. A passport. Let's go. Holy crap. I've been so stressed all day and I haven't even, I can't even like, I can't even fathom how stressed I'll be. But we've got it secured. New parkour, baby. That was hectic. I've just had a whole thing of watermelon and mint. So I've eaten a lot of food today, but that is important because probably two to three days before a game, you want to carb load. You want to get as many carbs in as possible. Um, and then the day before, personally, I don't like to eat that much. I like to stay lower on the calories and, and more focused on staying like lighter, just like at maintenance calories because I feel like I'm too heavy on game day and then breakfast and stuff as well if I eat too much. So I like to keep the calories reasonably low before a game, but eat as much as possible on like a Thursday is usually the best day, to, uh, best day and best way to go about it. So um, eating a lot today, a lot of fruits, a lot of veggies, feeling good. <sighs> Guys, it's about 7.30. I'm so tired, I'm ready to go to bed. I've had such a stressful day, I've eaten so much food. And I'm just chilling out right now, watching some Star Wars, and I want to go to bed and get up nice and early. Get on the plane, finally. We've got our new passport, and we're ready to go. What an eventful day, what a start to the vlog. Gee whiz, you guys are just like, what the hell is going on, what the hell is... This is the first, first vlog you're watching, you're gonna be like, gee whiz, this is chaotic as, but... I'm gonna watch the end of this movie. I might have a, I might have like a Magnum or a Golden Gay time or something before I go to bed. But I've eaten enough food today. I don't really need dinner. I reckon I had like four servings, so for lunch. So yeah, I'm off to bed. Illy guys, LFG. Morning all. 5:26. We're up at five. It's Friday morning, day before first day, 
and first game in New Zealand. We have a fight in a couple of hours, but uh, you know how it is. We've got to get our run in in the morning. So let's go running. Nice little 5k to start the morning. Now we are off to uh, have a shower and then airport, baby. That has been one of the most stressful 24 hours of my life. But we've got everything sorted, boarding pass, passport, we're out of here on a Friday morning. What a great way to start the weekend on our way to New Zealand. So exciting. I don't know, dude, biggest shout out to Qantas because they sorted me out. They put me on the next flight the next day. I didn't have to pay any more. They sorted everything out for me. So thank you Qantas, you guys are amazing. They also sorted me out with like extra row and everything on this flight. The girl at the counter actually knew me, or her boyfriend knew me and she was super kind as well. So um, yeah, very, very excited. We're on our way, let's get it. Start the morning with a skinny cappuccino. Got some editing to do as well. So I'm slowly just getting things done. It's um, a lovely little place here. Start the morning off with some egg and toast. Just arrived here in CC, Christchurch. We're done, it's four o'clock. We're just chilling. We're gonna get in a taxi and then head to our hotel, which is about 20 minutes away. So it's good to be here. Landed, touchdown, finally. What a process, but uh, let's get on the road. It's about, like I said, 25 minutes to get to Novotel. So let's link it up, baby. MTV, welcome to my crib. Very nice. Love staying at the Novotel, baby. We've got two nights here. We've got a nice little couch. We've got a beautiful bed. Obviously our toilet and everything as well. How's our view looking? Beautiful Christchurch, baby. Look at that, look at the mountains and stuff over there. Oh, it's so cool. What a place. What a place to be alive. The city looks exciting. But before we do anything, I'm gonna smack a little hot chocolate because I feel like that's the right move to make when we're here. Just chilling here in the room. Just finished off my beautiful hot chocolate. About to head over to the gym. It's actually a lovely afternoon. I feel like I should go out and go for a walk. Um, I actually might do that before I hit the gym because it's like seven o'clock and it's still beautiful and light outside. So I might go for a little quick, um, little quick stroll and then hit the gym. I just got a knock at the door and someone has just come up and brought me some beautiful cheeses, almonds, jats, crackers. How kind, just for being a, a loyal member of, um, of a core and having a few trips already to the Novotel. So that is so kind and so lovely. Thank you to the Novotel for sorting me out. Qantas, Novotel, I'm literally not sponsored by these brands or anything whatsoever, but they have been so kind to me this trip. Even the Australian government, to be honest as well, for getting me sorted with my passport. So massive thanks to all of them, but this is so beautiful. I'm gonna munch on this, go for a little stroll, and then hopefully hit the gym. And then that'll pretty much be me done for the day. It's been a long day. But um, the weather looks too good outside for me to say no. So I'll be out there in a sec. Riveting content here, ladies and gentlemen. Riveting content. We've got, I think, brie cheese. Brie cheese. Or we might add on a little bit of, I'm not sure what it is, but we'll add it on anyway. Mmm. Like an apricot jam. Quite delicious. Eight out of 10. Gotta try it. The blue cheese. We'll add a little bit of quince paste to this. Now, I think that New Zealand have some of the greatest foods in the world. Um, they're always quite like natural with the stuff that they do. If you've never been to New Zealand, you're missing out. It's one of the best countries in the world. That blue cheese, just FYI, is absolutely divine. That was an eight out of 10. Now I'll go for the cheddar with a bit of quince as well. And if you're Australian, so easy to get that. 
This is only my second time here, but it definitely won't be my last. It's one of the best places to go for a little trip. People are too nice here as well. New Zealand people are some of the best people in the world. It's actually gorgeous. Like, if you look out the front and you go a little bit further, I don't think I can, but like up on these hills and stuff. So stunning. This is gonna be the longest vlog ever, ever as well. I apologize. That's a restaurant. That's All right, we've got dinner here for night before game day. We have literally a loaf of bread with butter, so a heap of carbohydrates and good fats. And then we've gone with a burger as well with some chippies. Could have gone with pasta, but they actually didn't have any pasta on the menu. So this is going to be dinner for tonight. It looks absolutely delightful. We're gonna smack that and uh, yeah, hopefully get some sleep. All right, everyone, that is a wrap. For another great day, <clears throat> we are off to bed. It is game day tomorrow, we've had a good feed. We had some milk chocolate as well to finish it all off. And we are feeling, uh, body actually feels really good. That walk was beautiful. Um, didn't go too far over my calories today. I think I was just about over maintenance. So nothing crazy, like no extreme amounts of fullness right now, which is really good. Light, strong and ready to go. So Christchurch will be um, will be an interesting level of football. Wouldn't have any idea what level it's gonna be like. Um, obviously a big shout out to, to Christchurch. Um, did have those massive, massive earthquakes a couple of years ago. So probably um, feels good to be giving back to a community and a, and a club and a, uh, a place that went through so much hardship <clears throat> because it was a really difficult time in Christchurch. If you don't or don't know about it or haven't seen it, then you should search it up and see how crazy it was. But it was a really, really hectic time. So it's gonna be good to um, to give back to, to a place and a community. And, and if you do wanna go check out some really cool places um, in New Zealand, I'd definitely have um, probably Queenstown at the top of the list and then Christchurch be a close second um, as well so that's me done guys i'm off to bed thank you so much for watching this vlog so far ah good morning all so it's 6 a.m 6 30 but <clears throat> it's actually 4 a.m for me because it's two hours later so yeah good morning game day baby let's go on our way down and I am going to try and go for a swim in the beach this morning. Let's see if it's possible. It's gonna be freezing cold, but we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. All right, so it's <clears throat> early in the morning. I've still got a pretty croaky voice and we've just Ubered down to one of the most famous places I think here. I don't know if, actually know if it's famous. I'm totally lying to you. Um, the pier, but it looks really cool. It looks like one of the spots to go. So I thought I'd bring a bring a towel. I might go for a little cold ocean dip in the morning. But I wanted to walk across this pier as well because it looks incredible. There's a heatwave, yeah. There's a party in the streets in the city. Don't we were hoping for sunshine today. It's currently raining. If you look over there, it doesn't look. It looks pretty bleak. It is really early, it's 7am, so it's pretty bleak looking though. Hopefully it starts to clear and we do get a nice clear day of footy. But if you look, it's not that nice. It's pretty gross. Oh, well, that's a pier for you. Cool, exciting. Seagulls here are freaking massive as well. Look at the size of it. Freaking been munching on everyone's fish. There's lots of fishermen out here. This is pretty impressive. Jody Barnett. Sometimes I wonder why the fuck do I do this shit? <laughs> fuck, let's do it. <laughs> Let's go, baby. You see anyone else here? No. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. It's absolutely freezing cold, but my body doesn't even feel it at the moment. It feels fine. It feels zen. 
it actually feels a leak. Like I've got no issues. That was that was difficult. Now it's just up to your body just to return to its core temperature. Figure it out. Start off your day with something you don't want to don't want to do. There's nothing better than doing that every day. It doesn't matter what footy you're playing or what sport you're playing. Still treat yourself like um, with some respect, with some love, and keep trying to challenge your body. It's the most fun thing you can do. And your mind. Your mind. That's the ticket. There was a building in the city which wasn't built properly. That Uber driver was an absolute legend. Uh, it was good to chat about him. He was being in Christchurch his whole life, so it's good to chat to him. I'm actually not that cold. I might just go straight in and have some feed. See what happens. Start the morning off with some scrambled eggs, bacon, hash brown. We've got a sausage and a potato. Mm, nothing better than a buffet. This Gym done, now my ride's waiting for me downstairs, so I gotta make this quick. I'm gonna bring a few extra goodies. We've got some protein powder, we've got some footy boots, we've got some hats, we've got a Primer One hoodie for the boys afterwards, so always looking after the gents. We're gonna go downstairs and get on our way to the game. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another game day vlog. Now, this game day vlog is very, very different indeed. We are taking a trip over the ocean, about a four-hour plane ride, and we are landing in Christchurch for our first ever overseas game and our first ever overseas game day vlog. So thank you very much for tuning in, firstly. And secondly, let's get to work. I'm playing for the Christchurch Cougars, the University Cougars, and we are playing against the Eastern Blues today. Now, the Eastern Blues are first on the ladder by quite a margin. They are a very, very good side, uh, probably widely regarded as the best team in the competition. And um, we are, th there's only four teams in the competition, and we're probably sitting around third, fourth at the moment. So um, it was fantastic, a fantastic opportunity to, to get to play for the Cougars. And um, I, I go out and obviously shake everyone's hand, and um, there was a little bit of a uh, little bit of talk and chatter beforehand. So I think that um, the first thing to do is just to get out, introduce, and and um, I don't know, get off to a good start. So I literally have no idea about barely anyone's names as well. So I'm just like saying yeah, 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 here, 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 pretty much the whole game. Which is um, I started to figure it out slowly as I got to it, and um, yeah, I think that just started off running as hard as possible the whole time just like trying to get to as many contests as possible and um the the film guy was probably a little bit unsure about how to film this as well he actually um here uh, i get a handball out and then pretty much his camera runs out of battery because he's been filming all the stuff uh i think here yeah right out of battery so i missed like five or six minutes of, of some um, important content because I actually got caught holding the ball and I didn't edit that out, I promise. It was, it would have been in there. I got caught holding the ball in like the first two minutes of the game um, and then got the guy back holding the ball. So anyway, they get a free kick for front on contact here. Quick handball out and this number 21 uh, goes bang and kicks the first goal of the game for the Eastern Blues. And that was unfortunate because we de definitely had um, an out number back there, but uh, they get it. And I'm kind of playing as a midfielder, but trying to get back and help out in the back line as much as I possibly can. And it's actually really, really wet as well, which is super unfortunate because it kind of nullified. Like I, I felt like I could have got more of my hands on the ball and, and um, cleaner hands as well if it was nice and dry, but it was wet. So it was kind of just playing that surge footy game. And we probably started off a little bit in the first quarter 
trying to play uh, a little bit too much, like kick mark. It's like you just got to play surge if it's wet, get a good tackle um, just before, and then really just focusing on putting as much pressure on as I possibly can because um, I guess that sets a bit of a precedent for the rest of the team of, of hopefully what we can do. Um, you can see they don't really follow you that much here. Like you kind of can get off the leash and they kind of just like let you go. Missed out on an opportunity here, I thought, um, for for a few kicks and was on in the right spots and then um, the kicks just weren't quite there. But they drop a mark here and lucky enough to get a, a little slip high over the shoulder and go back because... A lot of these players are rugby players, so they're probably not that focused on just tackling you low and hard. Um, they don't really care if they get you over the shoulder, so that was probably something that I started to focus on. I was like, well, if, if I can go a little bit lower, um, I'll probably get a few free kicks here and there, and I got a little bit of stick uh, back from some of, the, uh, <laughs> some of the Blues boys. And then they started to pay a little bit closer attention. But again, it was just more about that pressure and hunt um, than anything else, especially in the first quarter, just to set a little bit of precedent for everyone else. Unfortunately, they go forward and they get another goal. So that does put them up 12 to 6. But if I could just get um, a few kick marks, you can see here it's like pouring with rain. So a, a short kick wasn't the go. You had to just kind of get it long and far um, because there was just no point of doing the short kick mark. And I think that that was the best way to go about it. Luckily, I took this one in my hands because um, because it was super wet. Go back here to, to, to Banksy and we're kind of trying to to work it out of the back line. And I felt like I was trying to like get it out of the back line and then get it long forward. But then it would kind of just come back in. So I was like, well, I don't really know where I tried to like get it out of the back line and then um, try and get like a stoppage or something. Anyway, at the end of the first quarter, it's 15 to six. Um, and even now, like I'm just starting to kind of figure out the teammates' names and everything. Obviously I wasn't there on Thursday night for footy training, which was really, really frustrating. They go, um, cause that would have been a massive opportunity for me to kind of meet some of the blokes and um, get to know them a little bit better. They go forward and kick the first goal of the second quarter and then they kick the second goal of the second quarter as well so that puts them up 27 to 6 and they've got a pretty good little lead this guy tries to shrug me off i said no i said no that's not happening to me today i'm not getting shrugged off by you holding the ball which was nice and he honestly had me on on the ropes there because i was i was in struggle town probably got a little bit underneath that kick um but anyway hit banger and then banger goes inside 50 to our captain, and our captain takes a nice little grab about 40 metres out, and guess what he does? He goes back and he goes bang, straight through the big sticks, and that is a nice little goal for us and gets us back within, uh, I guess, striking distance of the Blues. Again, just trying to rack up with that pressure as much as possible, and then, like I said, that does set the precedent for everyone else. This ball is just a little bit up and under, and um, they did get the spoil away, which which is no good, but at least it's a stoppage. At least it wasn't a turnover. Um, started to get a little bit more like physical as well on the inside. Unfortunately, I get the clearance here and it's a turnover, but just putting myself in the right spot. I do slip, but then get it back and could have been play on, but wasn't luckily because I would have been in a lot of, a lot of trouble. And when it was starting to get a little bit drier, I could switch the ball a little bit um, to AC and AC then probably went a little bit too into the middle. And then that was... It's a difficult thing because I didn't feel like we we wanted to play too much through the middle just with the, the wetness of the footy. But if I could just sit myself about a kick behind the play, then I could get um, kind of those re-entries. So again, bang, he <laughs> goes inside and just does a little dinky kick inside 50. Um, but yeah, it was definitely end to end. And again, trying to, like the pressure is so important because it just sets a precedent for everyone else. That's a free kick for sure get the handball back and I'm like I could probably kick it the furthest so it was like I'll try and get the handballs here to, to try and kick it as far as possible we get a great free kick here and then I hit up with a little lead hoping to get on the end of it it's just a little bit short go to pick it up and this guy just tries to do the shoulder straight into me and then this guy's trying to figure out what shampoo I use or conditioner I'm pretty sure that's why he's touching my hair I wasn't don't know why else but um got the free kick in the end so Got to go back and have a shot, and I'm just getting all types of slurs at the moment from the opposition. 
everything that they can think of, um, which is good. I mean, I, I love that sort of stuff. And um, he, what what more do you expect? And the bloke comes up to me and says, are you all right? I said, yeah, mate, I'll be fine. The physio comes up and says, are you okay? I said, yeah, mate, I'm all right, so I'll be fine. Um, and uh, just thought that I actually probably wasn't kicking them that well before the game. I was really struggling. And they use a Sharon match as well, so it's a little bit smaller than the Sharons I'm used to using. Um, but that's no excuse. So went back and luckily um, hit it right and it, and it just snuck in for a goal. So I went straight back up to the other guy that was giving me a bit of stick and he shirt fronted me, um, got a talking to from, from the guy and then there was a bit of here and that, a bit of this and that. And then um, I said, no, nah, hold on, that's a free kick. So I got a free kick from about 50 metres out, which was good. Um, so that's one goal back. And then we start hearing a little bit from the bench. I'm having a bit of a laugh. The opposition bench is going crazy uh, at the umpires. And then everyone on the field's going crazy at the umpires as well. And then the umpires like, hold on a sec. That's descent. I don't really like that. So we get a 50 metre penalty and this guy tries to hit me again. Like, what, what was the point of that? Anyway, um, and get another goal out of it in the end, which is good. Just from keeping your head, you know. Go forward, keep the goal, and then that puts us back within three points. Here come the Cougs. How exciting. Um, about towards the end of, of the second quarter, and, and we get a couple in a row, and that's exciting. Th- this is easily the best team, the, the Blues. They are easily the best team in the comp. So if we're just close, close enough, then anything can kind of happen. Get the clearance here, get bumped off it, and then I'm go again for another ground ball, and I'm starting to feel it, and then I get a massive stud onto my freaking leg and they all wear metal studs here so when you get studded it hurts so much more and you can see here i try to like run off and it it gets worse and worse and worse i've got these massive stud marks i can't run um but when you're usually warm it's okay you can kind of get a little bit of a get a little bit of movement through um so it was all right play on uh, a little bit of ball in dispute comes out they get it forward and then I had an opportunity to take the mark here and I go down and then I get uh, elbowed straight to the head afterwards. Then I don't know how this is a free kick, but we'll, we'll allow it. Now, I don't know whether the umpire, like the umpires, I'll never blame them for anything. Like, especially, like, I don't know if these umpires are from New Zealand or they're from Australia. Like, I thought the umpire was great. The, there's, you can't play the game without umpires. So, um,. I don't know, everyone always likes to blame umpires for this and that. But that goes for halftime. They get a nice little goal at the end of the second, which does put them up 35 to 24. So they get a little bit of a lead, a little bit of breathing space, um, which is unfortunate. We're just chatting here about what we got to do. Uh, I'll just I'll leave you I'll leave you some with some in-game chat. I like it. <laughs> Obviously, you got to have a scoop of pre workout at half time and a scoop of pre workout before. That's what keeps you going. Like I said, 5 5 to the Blues, 35 to four straight towards us. Get a handball out here and just get it out of there. It's starting to rain again. We actually start to dominate field position a little bit at the start of this um, third quarter. So uh, get a few opportunities. Prob- probably 50, I probably could have held on to it a little bit better. But anyway, get um, a kick here. And every time I run past for the handball, they follow me. So you've got the opportunity as the player to kind of go forward and kick it. It's like a four on one down here. I don't know where the rest of our players were, but four on one down here and they get uh, the ball out in the end. But we are dominating field position here. So we actually have the opportunity to probably get a few goals. But again, it, it's, it's probably with rain. So it's like you're just trying to dominate field position if you can. And then it's really hard once they start to get field position because um, it's, it's, it's hard to kind of like run it out. So I was trying to like run it out of defense so we could control possession of it a little bit and then... We stuffed up a few handballs and then I was like, well, just need to stem the bleeding and kind of stay back here and then they get a free kick. Luckily, I touched it, which was very fortunate. Um, but still, they, they're kind of just like, oh, 
pounding us then these kick misses try to get a handball out but it's again four on one so trying to like do do what i can just barrel it out i can just i'm trying to like stem the bleeding as much as possible like make sure they don't get any goals so i'm kind of just playing as that like kick behind the play handball out here and teammates were actually really good they were like yeah let's get it forward as well like let's get it out and get it forward unfortunately they get a free kick on the goal line and then they kick a goal which puts them up by 20 points which is actually a lot especially when it's only 20 minute quarters here in this um in this competition again just i'm just trying to barrel everything and it di didn't come off too well unfortunately they get a mark here um which wasn't good handball back and yeah i'm just i'm trying to i'm trying to go short and wide to retain possession um, <laughs> just like a triple falcon in there. Anyway, play it on. Uh, get a good, it was a really good kick here in the middle. And then I'm, I'm probably going wide too much, maybe. Maybe I was too conservative with my ball movement. But I just felt like that was the best way to go about it. So he could kind of get a stoppage and re-go. This is where I really hurt my shoulder. This guy comes in and cleans me up. Hits me in the shoulder. Try to kick it forward. Um, but my shoulder is absolutely cooked. Like, it's so sore. I, it was just AC, AC joint. Like, it was okay, but it did really, really hurt. But it was playing whatever. And anyway, at the end of the third, they are up 44 to 24. And I'm thinking, you know what? We're actually still in this. We are still in this. I, I don't think that we're out of it at all. Um, so, yeah, I think that we just have to come out and, and be a little bit more aggressive. It, we also didn't want to go down and get beaten by a lot. So that, that were probably the two things, um, like go too aggressive and then get smashed. We didn't want it to turn into a blowout. Uh, AC gives me a good handball here and try to get around the guy. Um, but we, yeah, I don't know, like maybe I needed to be more aggressive, like I said. And then I'd kind of try and hit these kicks and it's not a good kick and it's a turnover. And it's like, well, what, you know, what good are you if you're trying to hit those kicks and you're missing them. Get a good handball inside here. And their tackling and pressure was pretty pretty ferocious. Like it was something that we needed to bring probably um, for the whole game. Like even I stopped bringing it a little bit. Like here, this guy just lines me up. And after I've gotten rid of it, he just pile drives me straight to the ground. I'm like, bro, I don't even have the ball in my hands. Like I got rid of it like two seconds ago. Um, and yeah, sometimes like I'm trying to hit these short kicks and it's, it's not quite uh, not quite happening. They do throw their bodies at absolutely everything, these lads, which is good to see. Get a handball out here, and again, this guy's just like try to shoulder barge me, which it, it's pretty funny, to be honest, and let it play on. Um, but yeah, just trying to get as many stoppages as possible. This is really good spread from a few of the boys. Um, but yeah, it, I don't know, like, what a cool experience playing footy at Christchurch. Like, the whole time I was just like, this is, this is so much fun, playing footy when it's not footy season. Um, it's so cool. So the score goes 26 to 49. Um, and yeah, I don't know. Like, good tackle here, luckily, because otherwise he would have kicked a snag. Um, but yeah, I think that we, we, we tried our best to um, but we tried our best to kind of continue to, to get the ball and stuff this up here and luckily get a handle out and this dog also tries to attack me on the sideline when I'm on the ground I'm like can you get your dog off me please they drop a monkey and then I can't pick the freaking thing up and I'm getting a handball out and, and we get caught caught with the ball but we do get a late goal, which is good. 34 to 50. 32 to 50, sorry. Puts us back within a couple of goals. I'm just trying to kind of hold the possession and get us moving forward. But um, it was a it was a pretty tough it was a pretty tough game and still continuing trying to pressure. That's probably a push in the back to be fair. I was lucky not to get called for that. Um, but yeah, anyway. We end up uh, finishing the game, unfortunately, 33 to 51. The Blues do beat us, and that was disappointing for me because I did want, I did want to win. Um, but, but they were a very, very strong outfit. Um, yeah, ended up 
getting my hands on the footy a little bit, which was good. And um, yeah, I guess that's the uh, that's the end of the game. So we wrap that up pretty much. And um, hopefully, hopefully I can get back for another game. Maybe not this year, but definitely for next year. It'll be very fun. Firstly, thanks to everyone for, for having me. I really appreciate it. You guys were, were great. I know we'll have a beer um, later tonight, but I got a, got a few things. Um, Puma gave me some boots to give out. Um, so shout out to Puma. Thank you very much. And thought I'd give them out to the best player today. Um, I'm not sure if you're, you're ever going to wear them, but um, cause they're a little bit loud. But you can give them back if they're not your size. And banger, well done. These are <laughs> Give that to, uh, to the man that sorted everything oh. out. <laughs> Out as well, but thank you guys so much for having me. Cheers. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Tom. 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 <laughs> Good right stuff. Good stuff. I dogged you that hard. It's a, it's on camera too. I felt so, so bad, bro. I felt that bad. Like, <laughs> you're like, hey, I was like, oh shit. You got roots on. I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna get one on my phone. <laughs> Great to meet you, man. Great to meet you. How are you, mate? Tom. Great to meet you. Lovely. Have a good one, alright? Appreciate it. Yeah, lads. Yeah. Good stuff, my boy. On Thursday because of. Um, yeah. What is everyone doing on Sunday? Yeah, absolutely. Prime train in Christchurch. Uh, happy Up birthday, the brother. Hopefully Yarra's treating you well. Up the pigeons. Yes. Ooh, well done. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, good to meet you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Just go, mate. None of this landscape bullshit. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, yeah. Right, we just come back from a couple of beers and now we're off to go out in Christchurch. See so what happens. Three of them in the space of oh, one on. minute. Oliver, <laughs> you've got a moustache. <laughs> no! Hey, Sue! Hey, hey. That's our brother. That's our brother. That's Good morning, guys. It is a Sunday, and it's actually a beautiful day, of course. Of course it is. Today is stunning. Yesterday was not so stunning. Um, we fought pretty hard in the end. It was a it was a great game. We got to go out and um, have a couple of beers after with with the boys. Meet a whole heap of new people. Um, it was fantastic. I was really 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 happy and fortunate to to meet so many of the lads. Uh, I might catch up with a few of them again today. I do want to go and do a few Christchurch sightseeing things. And I've also made a massive fuck up because I've booked two flights home. I've booked one tonight and I've booked, booked one tomorrow morning. So I'm not sure what the plan is. I booked this hotel room for um, tomorrow night as well. Um, but yeah, anyway, it's a bit of a dilemma in my head at the moment. So I'm gonna figure out what the best thing is to do. But for now, I'm gonna go and enjoy my day. I've got a heap of things on my list that I wanna do and I'm excited to, to check out. So I guess I'll, um, I'll chat to you guys very, very soon. But yesterday was great. Playing footy in Christchurch, such a cool experience. Loved every second of it, and um, can't wait to can't wait to do it again. That's for sure. What a great what a what a great experience. So cool. I'm also so grateful to you guys for watching these vlogs because without that, then I couldn't be able to do what I'm doing. So thank you so much um, to everyone for for watching these vlogs and. Um, interacting with them, like, comment, share, subscribe to all that sort of stuff. We've got a lot of cool things planned for next year. We're gonna to go to the US, the UK. We've got a few massive things lined up. So make sure you guys keep clicking on these vlogs, keep sharing, keep sharing it, keep on running it up because it's more appreciated than you know. Um, and it's also just like so much fun to do them. I, I love every second of it. So appreciate it. I get a really cool holiday out of it as well and get to go around and, and check out a few different, um, few different places that I never have and um, I love every second of it. Also down here, when I was saying that there's construction going on, that is the old cathedral, and that was damaged during the earthquake. So they're rebuilding that. This, this place was literally devastated by earthquakes. So it's cool to kind of give back a little bit um, to Christchurch because it was a, a really struggling city there for a little bit. So it's good to give back, good to be back, and good to have the vlogs back. My body is so sore. My shoulder is cooked here. I think AC joint is no good. And then down on my legs, I've got a massive corky here, a few corkies here as well. So my body is <coughs> absolutely ruined, but um, it's all right. We're gonna keep going. I'm gonna go down and get some breakfast and then we're gonna go on with our day. Do this for me here, so good. Baby, let's go. Won't you have a drink with me? We, we head into town. See what in the gondola, baby. Let's go. Thank you. Give this card again. Check the game. Thank you very much. Gondola ride, baby. I've got it all to myself as well, which I'm pretty stoked with. Here we go, is this gonna close? Yes, thank the Lord, that was scary. Let's go. This is so sick, what the hell? <laughs> Look at this view, what the hell? This is so crazy. We're still going up. Let's go. Beautiful. Oh, this is so cool. It's actually so scary as well. <laughs> We're going up. Dude, look at the view. This is sick. This is actually so cool. 
is so sick. The view from up here is insane. And if you look over here, this is the beach. If I zoom in, that's the pier that we were at yesterday. We went for a swim. How cool is that? And this is obviously the uh, beautiful Christchurch. What a beautiful city. I'm guessing that's an inlet from the ocean. And then you come around here, turn around, and this is more ocean over here, ports and everything. Obviously, the gondola's in the way, but it's uh, pretty goddamn beautiful. I'll tell you that much for free. Look at that. Pretty cool. <laughs> All right, guys, I've just got back from a very nice R&R &R little trip um, up the mountain. So back now at the hotel room, we're probably going to get sorted and start editing this vlog. Going to have it out, uh, yeah, on Wednesday night, but that doesn't matter because you guys will be watching um, from here. So uh, appreciate all of you guys for watching. If you guys do want to get involved in footy overseas or footy in Christchurch or New Zealand or any of that sort, sort of stuff, then make sure you click on the link down in the description because down there I will put um, some emails and stuff, people you can get in contact with if you do want to start playing, especially for the Mighty Cougs as well. So I'll sort you out with that. But it's been an absolute pleasure uh, coming over here. The boys were fantastic. Everyone was great. And, and I had, uh, honestly, one of the best times playing footy. Um, and I love doing this sort of stuff. I love meeting new people and I love being able to, um, to, to have the opportunity to do this. And someone was quite funny the other night. They said, um, you know, you're, you're lucky that, you, that your job allows you to travel. And um, it's funny because my job didn't really exist three years ago. Like no one was creating footy on local content, creating content on local footy and if someone said to you oh um or someone said to me three you know three years ago that you, you'd be helping promote um the great game the, the game that you love around around the world and around australia i'd say well that's that sounds like a pretty cool job to me so um it's been an exciting ride an exciting journey and thanks to everyone that that supported it keep supporting keep um running everything up i, I appreciate it more than you know but Thank you so much for watching these vlogs. Um, it means the absolute world to me and, and you guys are absolutely fantastic. So uh, I'm sending love and um, yeah, hopefully you guys all stay sexy. See you later.